these oddities again. We're going to do something different today. Way back when, I built a small hay rack to be pulled by a team of halflinger horses. And I put a hitch on it so I could pull it with my tractor and give kids rides or haul my produce or whatever. But anyway, it's been stored in the barn for many years and it's time to get it out. We're going to take a look at that. Maybe we can hook it on the Ferguson or one of those tractors and pull it around a little bit. But we got to dig it out and get it. It hasn't been out for years. I don't know. It might be a little dusty, but we'll, we'll grease it up and get it going. I'm coming, everybody. It just takes me a little time to get everything unhooked in here. I'm coming. Whoa, there's another plow. Here's the horse, horse pole, and this is for the tractor. Well, we got the, we got the pole hooked up. It was really fun. <laughs> Now, all we have to do is pull this thing out. If we had a horse, it'd be easier, even a tractor. Now, this thing is going to come, and it's downhill all the way, so... I should have had you check the tire. We need a broom and a tractor in order to make this thing go. I'll get a broom and a tractor and you check the tires for air. Let's hope that pin fits. Yes, look at that. Well, that's a sign on it. I built this thing many years ago for trade unit for uh, oh they called it the Arches Museum for the 
Monona County Historical Society. They they needed uh, something to haul kids in and give rides, and and they needed it for parades. So I built it basically for that, and then I used it just giving neighbor kids rides and playing around. And I got this uh, the wheels and the running gear. The wheels I I got them on an iron pile at an auction sale. I don't know where they came from. The steel wheels. Then I used some uh, I can't remember what angle iron to make the the axles and. I built the, the frame and 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 the horses pulled it. They pulled it uh, when the Mississippi Queen came to the, the river. The uh, loggers rolled in it. I see it's got a little problem though. I got to take care of it pretty quick. It's got some post hole bores in the old wood. See those little holes. So I have to spray it. Or something to stop that but I built it just for the fun of it right here in the maple tree forge I built this and then I also built a double box to be pulled in braids but it hasn't been out of the shed like I say and I know it's been been 20 years or better before it's been out of the shed and it's time time we used it and there was a fella in St. Charles who he had a team of halflingers his name was Kurt Edwards. He's passed away now, but he pulled this wagon. Oh boy, he pulled it in the Rushford parade and and uh, what was the name of that parade where they have the Norwegian festival down there? Peterson parade for Gommel Dog Days. Took first place as a team in this wagon in that parade, and we hauled it for uh, many times for the Victorian Fair. We pulled it down there, and many times by the levee when the when the steamboats would come in on the Mississippi River down in Winona, Minnesota, we, the Historical Society would pull it in front of there, and the team of horses would pull it. Uh, different people would ride on it. This stuff deteriorates just from sitting around. This wagon is a miniature wagon of the the actual size was about 16 feet long, and they hauled uh, loose hay in it. The hay loader would be pulled and they'd fill it up with uh, with loose hay. They would uh, put uh, bundles in it, uh, grain bundles, uh, the, the shocks that sat in the fields of the oats. They would throw them on here and, and then the team of horses would haul them to the thrash machine and then they'd pitch them in the thrash machine. It was also used for the corn bun bundles when they cut corn. When they filled silo they'd throw the green bundles on here and and take it to the silage cutter and blow it up in a silo of the corn. And they would also fill these with, after the corn was put in shocks in the field and dried, then they would load the, the bundles, the shocks on here, and the shocks would be taken to the corn shredder that would take the, the ears of corn off of the, the stalks. So they used these wagons. This is just a miniature, but the big ones, the big ones were, they still use them at the thrashing shows, and we used them on the farm here when I was a kid. But that's what they were used for. This is just a miniature to show.
And there you have it, everybody. You got the old hay rack, the Ferguson tractor, ready to go get the shocks or bundles or any neighbor kids we can pick up, give them a ride. Other than that, it's gonna sit out here for looks for now. Thanks for joining us right here on Ozzy's Oddities. See you again.